Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be completing some quests and also setting up automation for our resource generator. I hope you guys are ready. So we're back with some more pyramid map, and we are going to be continuing where we le uh, left off. So we've been working on gathering a bit of stone, a bit of food, and things like that. Just kind of getting this thing powered so we can get some cobblestone. I don't really need that much cobblestone, so there's a, a few things you could do. You could go here and use your lava bucket. And if we take a look at the uses, you can see there's quite a few things. Uh, magmatic generator. Uh, there's a few different things. I think one of the main ones is that you can create a cobblestone generator. There it is. A basic cobblestone generator is one of the few things that you can make. Now, that's an option. Uh, you can see here, but uh, we don't want to use our water bucket right off the bat. It's not something we want to do. I want to actually save this lava for something later on that uh, would probably be a, l a lot better used in that uh, that way. So we're not going to worry about this because we can always cobble gin like this. This is a great way to cobble gin. We already have a bunch of it. I'm not too worried. Uh, but let's go ahead and get one of these quests complete. So basic drawer. That seems easy enough, right? The rewards we get are iron. Redstone, lapis, marble, and basalt, all of which can be duplicated inside the resource generator or can be uh, generated. So let's go ahead and try to complete this. All we're going to need is a storage drawer. And I think it's just the basic uh, storage drawer in itself, which is just a chest and some wood. Very easy to get. And you can get this very, you can get this right off the bat if you wanted to. Uh, you can just completely skip the cobblestone uh, generation section if that's your thing. But yeah, we're just going to create this and then storage drawer get. And it's going to be great because we're going to use this to actually, we're going to use one of these anyways, to complete this. Now, I think we have to drop this off in the chest over here still. I don't know if there's a way to turn it in directly. Reward. Can we click? Oh, we can. So we can just click right on here. And then bam, there we go. And we get our rewards. How cool is that? So they have updated this. So you technically don't need to even go over here to claim your rewards. Uh, but you can you can actually throw your stuff inside this chest if you want to. Um, and as you can see, the drawer is actually highlighted. So you place this here and then your output rewards would uh, generate there. Kind of cool. And it kind of tells you how to use the stuff right here. But you can also see on the screens, they actively update in the screens will uh, show you that we've actually completed this, um, which is really cool. I really like this. Um, Laffy did a pretty great job on getting that all set up. So now that we have that, let's get some iron duplicated. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can actually do more than one item at a time. Uh, but I'm going to work on iron at the moment because we need iron so we can just replace this whole setup here with actual power. We can get rid of the seed bag generator. So we don't need that seed back generator anymore. And we'll also complete another quest. Now, one of the things that I, I did, um, or that I say I did, we did, um, was uh, last time I played this, which was uh, on a live stream, we ended up setting up a chest, and it can be here, it doesn't really matter, of the items that can be duplicated, and so that way we keep at least one in there. And I think clay can be duplicated. Just, we needed to keep just a few different items, just so that way we never run out of them. Um, because I don't want to end up running out and be stuck in a situation where I need that one item. So that's we just we just created a chest for that, which works out perfect. So, all right, so let's get the rest of this going, and we'll go ahead and actually make a couple more. I'm going to use this one for cobblestone, this one for wood. I think that would be uh, a lot easier to handle. Um, and to place these for right now, we'll just place them, uh, I don't know, right here. One here, one here. Cobblestone, you can come with me. There we go. Cobblestone there. We have a bunch of wood. We'll just throw the logs over here. Perfect. Um, and the logs are going to be very helpful. Like I said, we are slowly but surely working on keeping this thing charged up. So... The more that the more wood we have in here, the more charcoal we can make, and the better off we'll be along uh, along the way. So that's what I'm working on um, right now. So that way we can get ourselves some iron producing. 
and we can go ahead and take a look at our next quest. So once you get at least one piece of iron, I do recommend making yourself a chisel. Very easy to do, and uh, that'll allow you to kind of place blocks. Now I am I am sort of working on a pattern. Now, don't don't let this fool you. This may not change or may not stay this way. I'm just currently uh, I have three wide on the uh, center sections. These are actually nine by nines. Um, and that well, that way I can kind of keep uh, the mobs under control. That way I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this block in the center. I did chisel out the side. I do like this, um, but I may change the way these things look. I don't know. I do like the way the smooth stone looks compared to cobblestone. Smooth stone has the uh, like I said a lot. I mean, just it's in the name. A lot smoother of a texture. Uh, there's not as much uh, noise going on, but. I do have this going, so I have been duplicating the iron. I went ahead and got 23 of those, quite a few. You only need nine to get your first uh, startup going. And then we have redstone, and then we're good to go, right? Okay, so one of the things that we know we can uh, we can produce is charcoal. So we are going to work on producing charcoal, but first we need to take that iron and redstone that we were producing. And also we're gonna need a little bit of wood. And we're going to make ourselves a furnace generator, and it's also a part of the quest line. So we're going to go ahead and take some of that. I'm actually going to take this guy because we can actually use this because we will no longer be using uh, this furnace generator in particular, or these furnaces in particular for this partic uh, for powering the uh, resource gen. So let's go ahead and move on to this. All you see here is a machine block with a trap, or not a trap chest, with a normal chest and some redstone. Very simple to get started. Let's go ahead and get a chest. Very nice. Um, and so we're going to dive right into extra utilities, pretty much. So there you go, machine. And then we just need one of those, and we get a furnace generator. Now this furnace generator is going to replace the seed back generator, and we should be able to break the seed back generator, pick that up. We might be able to use it later. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need it necessarily right now, but what we can do is set this guy up. Perfect, right? So this will eventually be our main power supply, and I think what I'm going to do is actually break all of this off because I don't want my main I don't want my main area to be cluttered with the resource generators. So I'm going to end up breaking the resource generator, taking all of this with me, and we're going to move this thing. Now the uh, there we go, and we're, yeah, we're going to take all of this with us. I'm going to leave those furnaces there for right now, but we're going to have a little setup. So the resource generator and a furnace generator right here. Um, and this is going to be one of the main sections of our automation. I'm going to set it right here. This is going to be uh, leaving a couple spaces over here because I'm going to have a little bit of automation going on in the back. And there we go. Throw that chest on top like always. And we'll put our item frames back on here for right now. Uh, really, I think we're only going to use one item frame. Because the main thing that we're going to worry about getting is this tiny charcoal. And we need at least one piece of charcoal to be able to get this thing going. So I'll throw that there. I'll fill this thing up with some tiny charcoal. And as you can see, it should start start produce. And it's actually going to produce fairly quick. Um, it's going to be a lot quicker than our seed back generator. So much quicker. Unbelievably quicker. Um, and it's going to produce all these things a lot quicker. And now that we have a little bit of coal, it's going to be in our best interest to, like I said, make sure we have enough of it. All right. So now that that part is over, we can actually uh, make another one to turn in as a actual quest turn in item. So let's go ahead and make another one. I know it's, it's going to hurt, but at least all you have to do is have a uh, normal generator. We don't have to make the casing anymore. We're just literally going to be making this. We already have the machine block. We just need to make a, a normal furnace. And bam, we have a furnace generator. And we can now turn this thing in. Let's go ahead and go to requests. And go underneath furnace generator. We can click on it. And actually click this in here. And bam, get our rewards. Now, we see what our rewards are. Let's take a look here. Um, I am going to need to put a center chest somewhere in here so that way we can store those items like I said the ones that actually get duplicated we want to make sure we keep those separate from everything else in which I will do so so let's throw all this in here and we'll only keep one of those particular items in there perfect so these are all items that we can duplicate 
And as you can see, we already have 35 charcoal in here. And this thing is rock and rolling. This is going to be our main supply of power early game for our resource gen. Like this is going to be completely automatable and uh, we're going to get this going. So since we're working with um, since we're working with tiny charcoal from actually additions and uh, we have extra utilities in here, we do have pipes. So I do want to see what uh, it's going to take for us to get pipes. Well, we need glass. We have stone. We have everything needed for transfer pipes. And then when it comes to actual transfer nodes, all we really need is a chest. Uh, so pretty straightforward there. All we're going to need is at least some sand. Um, so that's where we're going to actually produce some sand on the side here. And this should actually produce sand fairly quick. Uh, like right now, as you can see, we're already getting sand. Um, we don't need much though, because this only requires two. And when it comes to this, we don't actually need it. So perfect. Perfect, perfect. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab a couple and we're gonna go ahead and cook that. I don't think I made any glass last episode. So we're, we're actually good here. All right, let's uh, throw the sand in. Bam, we're ready. We're, man, we're rocking and rolling. Um, you can see I did turn the timer back on. You guys said you wanted to see the timer. I'm per perfectly fine with that. But keep in mind, this is not a speed run. Um, I do not have access to any commands, so... Like, I don't have access to any commands. This is a straight, normal run. Uh, there's nothing going on here. So, just keep uh, keep that in mind, that uh, this is going to be a straight run. So, I hope you guys... I hope you guys can actually do this. This is not a hard, hard pack to complete. It's actually very nice in, its, in the way that it progresses. And uh, I hope you guys, I hope you guys play along. It's actually really good. I've already seen some people have way surpassed me, but technically you haven't because I, I did this in uh, on the live stream and I have actually completed this pack to its fullest. So that is uh, a thing. All right. So <laughs> we're, like I said, we're working on getting the piping going. We have to get that because as you can see, currently this is feeding, but I want it to be fed tiny charcoal. Um, let's take a look at something that we can use other than pipes. I know we can use pipes to transfer things, but for crafting, there is something called an analog crafter that I really like. I really like this analog crafter, and that's what we're going to be using for this setup. So, analog crafter going is going to be starting real quick. Let's get ourselves a piece of cobblestone, and I, I have sticks. I'm just going to go ahead and make another one. There we go. And we'll make a crafting table. Simple as that. Bam. Analog crafter. There you go. All right, so we're going to have that to go along with our glass. Let's go ahead and I think we have stone ready to go. Perfect. And we should be ready to make some pipes, right? Perfect. Yes. 64 pipes. It's going to last quite a while, but I think we're, we might run out eventually. We will uh, probably run out eventually. At one point... We will definitely. All right. So we don't need very many of these transfer pipes, but I'm going to go ahead and make a few. There we go. Awesome. So with that done, I think the only other thing that I would like to get is um, the wrench from extra utilities. Um, I'm going to need red dye. I don't, we don't have access to that quite yet. I don't, I could get lucky and get red dye. Uh, very lucky. If I, if I, use up some of this bone mill. There's a chance that I could get a flower here. But I probably won't be... Oh, man. We do get some seeds. We got a white flower. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So, yes, now we can make the wrench. I really do need the wrench, so uh, working towards getting that. I do have access to bone, because we do have, like I said, a mob uh, spawner over there. But, yeah, we need this. We need this wrench. It's going to be very handy, especially with us working with this mod. All right, so let's get this analog crafter in use. On the back here, we're gonna place the analog crafter. On the top is where we're gonna actually pull out the item, because this is gonna be our actual resource generator. It's gonna be our power generator, our main source of power for charcoal, uh, which is going to be charcoal anyways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pipe out this charcoal. Let's take the sand out. We don't actually need sand produced in here anymore. This is only gonna be producing charcoal as of right now. So I'm going to throw this in here. I want this to actually go here. We'll sticky this up. Should only go in that slot. And right here. And then it says accessible from all sides. 
Um, technically, we want this only from here. And as you can see, it's slowly but surely, but it is making tiny charcoal and it is feeding it out. Now we are going to need a way to get down here and that's where a bucket's going to come in handy. It is kind of a pain sometimes to get this to work, but um, you do need to go underneath at some point and a water bucket is going to be our friend when it comes to placing certain blocks. All right, so we have our transfer node. I'm going to pull out of the analog crafter and it's actually going to go into here. So that's where this comes in handy. There we go. Water, I'll take you. You can go back where you belong, which is right over here. Okay. So with that said and that done, let's go ahead and place our slab back here so we don't fall. And there we go. So this is going to constantly feed this with tiny charcoal. And uh, we're going to have a whole line of these furnace generators connected to resource generators. Um, and this is, the, this is how early game starts. And uh, this is just how it's going to be. But we need to figure out how to get another resource generator. I don't know if there's a quest reward that gives us a resource generator. I don't think... I don't think that's a thing. I think we literally have to make them. And I, I know how to make them. So let's take a look. Uh, for the resource generator. Generator. Uh, I think it's... I, I usually have better luck just doing it. FTB. Uh, so, the generator. Resource generator. Generator. Let's take a look at how to make this. So, we're going to need something called a power crafting table. The power crafting table is very simple to make. We just need literally um, a crafting table surrounded by what we now have, which is redstone. Bam! We have a power crafting table. Now, the power crafting table does need some power, so I'm going to use this as its early game power supply just to get this thing started. This is going to be how we duplicate a few different items. One of those items being a bucket. So if we take a bucket, and or, or water, I should say, we could duplicate water. Um, if we take our bucket, and I actually need to make another bucket, so let's take some of that early game iron that we have. And let's scoop up our water right here. What we can do is we can throw the water in here with another bucket, and we'll get two buckets of water. So that's how you duplicate water early game um, to get your first infinite water source, which we now have. So let's find somewhere to place the infinite water source. Um, I do have slabs. So there we go. We'll just throw it uh, back here somewhere. Back here. Out of the way. Perfect. And then we'll place our water back where it goes. Oh, I thought I had that set up right. Totally did not. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> Me derping, look at that. Perfect example of how I mess up all the time. All right, so here we go. Place that here. And now we have an infinite water source. Perfect. And that will be very handy for us later on uh, whenever we need that. So with that being said, that's done. I am going to actually replace this. I'm going to throw some iron onto the side because we don't, we need more iron for right now. Just a little bit more iron. And we should be good once we get a little bit more iron going. Now, uh, you do get appetite here and appetite is going to be very useful. Uh, it is the bone mill substitute, so we won't actually need bone mill. So that'll be one of those things that we just don't really need too much of. Okay, so this should be producing, this actually should be taking second pan priority or splitting the power between this. Uh, we will need this, so let's take a look at the resource generator. To make another one, yeah, we're going to need a few blocks of iron and a block of redstone. That is the only thing kind of gating us here. Um, and then we also have these different upgrades that uh, we can put on our uh, resource generator. So the resource generator... If you put a frame on the side or, or have like where you have an item here, you can actually put upgrades inside these frames and it will actually upgrade the generator. So there is a um, upgrade for power. There's an upgrade for luck and luck will actually give you, as you can see, power modifier of negative 50% and a luck modifier of 80% on the max one, which gives you extra items. So you can actually have this producing extra items for you, which would be awesome. Um, and same for these, these are just speed upgrades. These are going to produce items faster, of course. 
and you can see the the power modifiers are something that actually change. So there you go. Uh, this is how that's how this is going to work here. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, as we have this working. Um, I guess the only other thing that we can, uh, you know, do is just wait for iron to produce. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out for right now. I'm just going to let it constantly produce iron. It should go pretty fast uh, in the amount that it has in here. Yeah, it should, it should go. It should go pretty fast. Um, this can support more power, so uh, the more power you give it, the, the higher it'll max out at. Right now it has not maxed out. I don't know, the, I think it may be 80 RF. I don't know the exact max out amount of power uh, per tick, but I know some items are different. So this one right here. Um, so it requires 2048 RF uh, with 40 ticks. It's a 40 tick delay. So if you were feeding it that much within 40 ticks, you should be good. So like I said, every item is different though. As you can see, we already have 21 in there. Like we are getting somewhere. Let's take a look over here. How many blocks do we already have? Two. Well, you need five. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. Once this builds up, it shouldn't take very long. And I'll keep an eye on the power. And uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so at this point, we should have close to enough. Uh, that's four. We are missing just like one. But what I did was I went ahead and took some of the residual iron that we had. And made two more furnace generators. Because that was the amount that we had left. And this guy is producing super fast at this point. It is literally uh, being blocked by that 40 tick delay uh, between uh, the, between the time that it takes to produce the item. So, with that being said, we now have enough that to uh, that we should be able to just go ahead and make a block here and have some wood, and we can actually make another gin. So let's take a look at this. So I just need to know the recipe here. Open this up. You can actually click the recipe in. And we should have enough power to make this. And there we go. You can see the recipe difficulty has been increased. So now if we look at the recipe, it is going to be under the tier 2 mode. Um, and the, I think it just increases in power at this point. Yeah, I think each one it just increases in power. So tier 2 requires 10k RF to be able to produce. Which is perfectly fine. We have the ability to do that. But now I'm going to place down our next resource generator. Place down an item frame. We are going to need a chest. But I think instead of using this chest, we'll probably just use drawers. Because currently we're going to be um, only putting in one item at the time uh, as of right now. Uh, let's just take a look though. Uh, we do have normal chest, or we can do a slightly larger chest, which does take up a single slot. That is something that we can do, or we can just upgrade our normal chest to an iron chest, and that would also give us a single block spaced chest. Let's go ahead and do this. We do have enough for that, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and just make it a normal iron chest. Why not? I'm sure we're going to fill these up eventually, so there we go. Um, and I'm going to just throw iron in here for this one, because like I said, this is not going to be our main supply. And this one's going to be removed. And this right now is filling up with power, but I think it will, will change how that works um, soon. Alright, so right now we just need our charcoal going in this frame. So charcoal there. Actually, I'm just going to put this in the front so we can see it a little bit better. How this is working. There we go. Charcoal in the front. We have this one going here. Um, we'll take that out. Charcoal needs to stay here. And we're going to route this over. So now this is also, once this hits full, this is going to be splitting. And it's going to be pumping the uh, excess tiny charcoal into this one. Same for this side. We also, we're also going to place this one here. And we're going to get that one up and running as well. Because we will have another one of these made very soon. Like, I'm, like right now. We can literally make another resource generator right now. So there's five more of those. Uh, we need redstone. Oh, that's something we need. So what we can do, pop this out, place that in. That's going to produce redstone fairly quick. Yep. And we have everything in here. And we also now have our copper and stuff like that 
But yeah, we're going to want to collect as much of the redstone as possible because that's super useful early on. There we go. There's our block. And I think that's everything. Oh, we need wood. That's right. We need wood. And there we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and throw that on here. This like the so. And there we go. We can get another one. Because uh, all it did was it just used more power. And place it down. We are going to need another frame. Which, if I remember correctly, is literally eight sticks and a piece of wood. Eight sticks, piece of wood. We now have an item frame in which we can support, you know, whatever. Say we want redstone here right now. We can do that. And also we'll throw in iron again. Because like I said, we are going to need a lot of iron. Right now, this thing will just spit out items when there's nothing there. <laughs> How funny is that? Um, yes, it will just spit out items. I'm thinking about doing drawers, though, because if we're going to have individual items, we, I don't know, we may need, I'm just so, I don't know, I don't know whether we should, I think we should probably just go with iron chests, that may be the best thing for us at this point, is probably just iron chests, oh well, we'll, we'll do that for now, I mean, we have so much iron, it just makes sense to do those, and plus they give us extra storage space for items, that are laying around. Let's get that redstone fixed. Oh man, I didn't know it actually spit items straight out into the ground like that. That is hilarious. But yeah, at least we know it's working and it's working well. That's all I can say. It is working well. Perfect. All right, and over here, let's take this redstone. I'm going to throw that over here for right now so that we we know what items are working and what are not. Um so, this is done. This is good. This is good. Guys, this has been a fun episode. I hope you guys learned a bit. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.